Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, we nice. can. Thank you. Hi, Thank teacher, you. Yes. Hi, hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining the class. So, how are you? How was your how was your weekend? Let's see, Yolanda. How are you, Yolanda? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Nice, amazing, ready to start Monday. Okay. Uh, did, you do, did you do something special during the weekend? Mm, special, I think, no, nothing special, but it uh, it was a relaxed weekend. Ah, okay, probably you were like uh, resting at home, wasting, you know, time, just relaxing. Well, uh, on Saturday, I worked. Uh, but on um, Sunday, I think I washed my uh, overclothes mm -hmm. and attended my dogs. Okay, nothing special. <laughs> okay, perfect. So be at home, it's nice, right? When we are at home, we have many things to do. And at the end, so we feel that, yeah, well, we did something, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. What about you, Chrisia? Chrisia Munoz, how are you? I'm great, thank you. And okay, so um, how was your weekend? It was a normal weekend. I just started um, and took a rest. Okay, so you were resting at home. That's nice. That's nice. Be at home resting, you know, be doing nothing. But at home, we always have many things to do, right? So that is something that uh, we do every day. And we have many, 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 many things to do at home. As they mentioned, sometimes um, the time is not enough when we are at home, right? Because there are too many things to do. And well, rest is also important, okay? Just take a nap if you have the chance and the opportunity. So yes. that's nice. Uh, welcome, Andrea, Noemi, nice. Andrea Sosa, how are you, Andrea? Hi, I guess Hi. you're on mute. Uh, Hi. So how are you, Andrea? I guess you have issues with your audio because uh, we are not able to listen. You are on mute. Hi. Mm, now, yes. But I guess that you are connected in two devices or no? Are you connected in two devices? Yes, I connect. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now yeah, Did we can hear me? now we can hear you, but I don't know. It says that you are on mute even though you we can listen. Okay, Andrea, no problem. Thank you. So Noemi, hello Noemi, how are you? Hello, teacher. I was a little bit sick. Oh, really? You were a little bit sick. Yeah, today I was uh, in front of computer all day. Oh, okay. And I so, am a headache. You have a headache. Okay, okay. So sorry, Noemi, for that. So try to drink something, a bill or something. Hopefully you will be better soon, okay? Nice, Elvis Abrego. How are you, Elvis? How was your weekend? Um, fine, fine. Teacher is my weekend was uh, a little uh, extreme because I have mm. to work. It was oh, different really? that order. Okay, that that order this weekend was mm -hmm. an special weekend for you because you have to work okay so usually or normally you don't work on sundays i guess 
No. Ah, okay. Well, but you get double pay, I guess, for that, okay? Mm, if you I work you don't you didn't your <laughs> <laughs> if you work during your day off, I guess you have a double pay. No. Not really. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm <laughs> sorry, but the good thing is that is your job, okay? So you need to okay. do it. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Rafael, what about you? Rafael, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. A little bit tired, but very Oh my goodness. But it's a, it's all it's uh Monday, so we are just at the beginning of the week. Imagine you are a little bit tired, so what's a long weekend for you? Yes, the okay. Monday is uh, a, a hard day because. Uh, I I have a lot of meeting. Oh, uh, really? Really. Okay, well, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Monday is always kind of a special day when we are in the working in any business, kind of business, it's the same. Monday, it's kind of difficult because there are too many things to take care of. Right. But... The good thing is that we have a job, right? So that's the important one. <laughs> so no problem, Rafael. Uh, what about you, Armando, Antonio? Hello, how are you, Armando? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you do something special during the weekend? Teacher, I, I different. Activity in my house. No, ah, okay. no special. Nothing uh, special, just okay. uh, house, housework, like, you know, doing different things at home, house chores. And working for and cleaning the room. And I'm not special now. Oh, okay, okay. I guess that some of you were also working in the activities, right? The platform, the exercise for the uh, for these classes, okay? Hopefully you were able to finish, okay? Al final voy a validar eso, que todos estemos ya set with the activities that we have in the platform, okay? Nice. Um, Luis Alonso. Hello, Luis Alonso. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your weekend, Luis? Uh, more or less, um, my, my dad is uh, a little sick. Ah, okay. So you were like taking care of him? Uh, sorry? So seems you mentioned that your uh, father is a little bit sick. I guess that you were uh, taking care of him. So you will, you, 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 you were with him. I don't know, taking care of him. Yes. I don't understand, teacher. Okay, no problem. Uh, Luis, uh, when we say you were taking care, taking care is cuidarlo, right? So you were taking care of him. So no, he no. taking care of because he, he was or he is a little bit sick, right? Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, okay, perfect, thank you. Let's see Dagoberto Rodriguez. Hello, Dagoberto. Okay, okay, so fix your problem there because I don't know what happened, okay? Alexander, hello, Alexander, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. I'm okay, thank you. Nice, did you do something special during the weekend? Uh, but uh, almost always I, I am at home on weekends and um, I stay with my family resting or doing house houseworks. Um, only that. Um, 
I was happy with my family. Okay, okay. So that is nice, right? If you have the chance or the opportunity to be, you know, doing something with your family, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so in my case, also it was a, it was a really busy, busy weekend. But at the end, so it was nice, it was nice. So uh, let's start, we are going to start right now the last uh, section, section number five or uh, unit number five, okay? As I told you, I hope and I expect uh, that you all complete your, you know, your platform activities and everything because if not, so we have a problem, okay? So, um, I guess we are done, okay? So try to make sure that you have everything um, set up and complete the exercise, okay? So some of you me escribieron during the weekend for him, so, and I guess the rest are done. So we are going to start the new uh, unit and uh, the name of the unit says, have you ever ridden a camel? Okay, have you ever ridden a camel? Just by uh, just by seeing this question, this is a question, right? Have you ever ridden a camel? What is the tense? Okay, what is the tense that we are going to uh, see or review in this in this um, unit in this section? Did you remember the tense? Yeah, what is the tense? Uh, present perfect. Perfect, present perfect, okay? Present perfect, that's what we will clarify right now. Present perfect, okay? So this is the last week, okay? So we have classes just today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then we are done, okay? So please make sure that you have all your exercise done and complete in your platform, right? Because this is the last week that we have. And yeah, you're right. This is the present perfect, okay? This is the present perfect, and this is how we are going to start, okay? Uh, let's see who... Uh, Crisia Munoz, help us with the reading, please. Moral objective. Okay. In this session, we will learn about present perfect, present but in a practice during the conversation. Thank you. It says in this section, you, uh, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. We have a conversation there that is a visit to New, York, New Orleans. Okay, so present perfect, okay? Present perfect is an special tense. Okay, that we need to know, okay, when to use it and how to use it, okay? So I have a list, probably if, if, if I don't share it today, so probably tomorrow I will share it with you, okay, for you to see the birds, okay? Because it is important to know the birds in this tense, okay? So like in the simple past, for example, in the simple past, if you don't know the birds in past, so it is kind of complicated for you to um, for you to talk in past, okay? In el presente uh, pasado simple, it is mandatory for you to know the birds, okay? Si usted no se puede los verbos en pasado, usted no puede hablar en pasado, porque no puedo decir algo en pasado y estar hablando con un verbo en presente, right? You know that the birds they have the base form, the past form, and the past participle. Okay, ya cuando en aquellos módulos al inicio cuando usted vio el present, el pasado simple, no sé, me imagino que usted tuvo que haber visto alguna tablita de verbos, right? And they told you, you have to memorize the verse, okay? Now the same story here with the uh, present perfect. El present perfect, tengo que aprenderme los verbos en el pasado participio. If you don't know the verbs in, in uh, past participle, no vamos a poder usar el presente perfecto. Okay? So, in uh, that case, we need to study the verbs and we need to memorize them. No hay, lamentablemente, una 
fórmula mágica o una regla secreta, right? For the birds, the only thing is memorize them, ¿ok? Hay que estudiar los verbos y aprendérselos, ¿ok? Para que usted pueda usar el presente perfecto, ¿ok? That's what we are about to see. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me see right here. Um, because we will see this conversation, a visit, visit a New Orleans, ¿ok? Let me put it here. Okay, we are going to listen one time and then we can practice just one time, okay? So the name of this conversation is a visit to New Orleans, okay? Look at the tense, but let's listen. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Welcome to Section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, just see the conversation one time, okay? So you were able to listen and it's, let's see, it says, uh, it's great to see you, Todd. This is the name of the person, right? Have you ever been in New, York, in New Orleans long? Just a few dates. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you ever been uh, to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been uh, to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I have already done that too. Have you ever ride a streetcar? They are a lot of fun, okay? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I'm re I really just want to take it easy. My feet, my feet are killing me. Okay, so that is the conversation. Do we have any new work or something that we don't know? Do we have any new work or something that you don't know the meaning or something that you don't know what it is? So we can double check right now. Okay, so this is the Present perfect, okay? Present perfect, okay? So let's see. Um, let's see who. So Vanessa, Vanessa de Los Angeles, you are going to be Jan and Cesar. Cesar Oviedo, you are going to be Todd, okay? So go ahead, Vane, please. Okay. Uh, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Yes, a few days. I really expect to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have really been the one. Oh, well. How about a riverboat tour? Oops, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I go here today. 
Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet aren't killing me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Let's see. Right here, it's exciting. Okay, exciting. Exciting. Okay, yeah, it is like exceeding, but, but it's not the pronunciation. Okay, exciting, exciting, excited. What is excited? I'm sorry? Emocionado. Emocionado, right? Emocionado. That is the meaning, emocionado. More than happy, right? Bueno, le van a dar una sorpresa. You feel excited, okay? Emocionado, okay? So, um, in this case, the present perfect, we are about to see is the famous uh, have you been, being, okay? Being. Uh, let's see what else. This is a clock, cloud jet, ja, uh, jazz club jet. Okay, already, already, already. Uh, what else? Um, street car, street car, street car. And my feet are killing me. Okay, my feet are killing me. Okay, so. Um, do we have questions about this conversation or everything is clear? I think it's everything clear. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rafa. Clear. Okay, so let's see one more uh, couple. Okay, let's see Rosario del Carmen. You will be Jam. And let's see Dagoberto mm. Rodriguez. <laughs> You will be taught, okay? So go ahead. Okay. Jam and talk. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club Jet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I already done that too. Have you ridden any street car? They are a lot fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. So imagine, está en una new city y no quiere hacer nada. Yeah? He, he already tried everything, right? So at the end, he just want to be resting. Okay. So let's go back to the presentation and let's see a, a small definition about the uh, present perfect. Okay. So look, this is like an, a small uh, picture for you to keep in mind when and how we are going to use the Present perfect. The present perfect, it's has or have, right? Plus the past participle. Okay, look at right here in this um, picture right here. This is the past, this is present, and this is the future. So the present perfect, it's in this, in this uh, area right here. That means that the activity that is starting the past and continue to the present. It's something that is starting the past, but it's still, now that we are in the present, the activity is there. So having ha um, has will be for the third person, right? Yo digo, I have and she has. Yo digo, um, we have, he or Juanito has. Okay, so that is the auxiliary, right? And the past participle. Do you know what is the past participle for the birds? Do you have the any verb, idea? Mm -hmm. the, the verb, uh, for example, uh, the past participle B is B. Ah, okay, perfect. That is the past pas, uh, participle, okay? In Spanish, we say pasado participio. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but in the list, as I told you, if you take any uh, 
English bird list, you have like the basic form, then you have like the past simple, and the third column will be the uh, past participle. And at the end, you have the meaning sometimes, okay? I have a list from birds, I will share it with you probably today or probably tomorrow, because as I was telling you at the beginning, we need to memorize the birds. Si usted quiere usar el, pres el pasado o el presente perfecto, tiene que aprenderse los verbos. Porque si no, no va a poder hablar o utilizarlo porque el verbo hay que modificarlo. Okay? So, it is very important. Okay? I hope that you were able to review the, the phrasal verbs, los que les compartí. Yo sé que eran varios, pero espero que hayan revisado y como les digo, con uno dos por ahí que se vaya tratando de aprender, so you are getting more words, okay? So as I told you, I will share with you this uh, list. Es una lista pequeñita también, como unos 100 verbos, creo que son los más comunes, okay? And that way you will be able to see the past participle of those main verbs, okay? So one more time, present perfect is an activity that is studying the past, but continue to the present. Ok, so, ese es el tiempo, ok, el, el present perfect no es para el futuro de momento, no es exactamente una actividad del presente, it's something that is start in the past, but still, we have the activity in present, ok, let's see what we have right here, look, these ones are like the, the formula, ok, so we have like in all ways, we have positive sentences, we have negative sentences, and we have the questions, okay? Aquí está la fórmula. You can see it right here. If you can take notes, so you can write it down, this formula, because this is how you are going to create your own sentences, okay? Look at the, the first one right here, the positive ones, okay? Positive sentences right here. You need the verb. You need the have or has, depending on the subject. You can say, I have, right? Or she has. Okay, he has plus the past participle. Okay, that will be the verb in past participle, and then the complement, right? Something else that you will add in the in the sentence. Okay, it says I have tried sushi. Okay, that means that this is something that I already did it in the past, but it's still I eat, or uh, I have the chance to eat right now sushi, right? So. That is, okay, in Spanish, in Spanish, we, we don't really, okay, we don't really translate it the way it is in English, but we do have this tense, okay, nosotros tenemos el pasado participio, right, so usted dice, yo ya había estado aquí, dice usted, eh, nosotros decimos expresiones así, yo ya había comido esto. Yo ya había visto tal cosa, right? So, ese, that would be the present perfect, okay? Something that happened in the past, but it's still, okay? You are in, an, in a place, okay? You are in a restaurant, for example. I have been here like three times, okay? Usted en el pasado fue a ese restaurante y yo ya vuelto a ir. So, esa es la expresión que usted dice, yo ya había estado aquí, okay? So that is the present perfect. Look at the negative. Negative, we need the subject always. And we have the negative um, auxiliary right here. Have not or haven't, okay? With the apostrophe right here. Have not or haven't. And if it is a, if it is a um, third person, has not or hasn't, okay? Plus the past participle and the uh, compliment, okay? Look at the example, I have not tried a sushi, okay? So that is something that you haven't tried, okay? Any time at any moment in your life. And the last one, it's the question, okay? Look at the question says, have you tried sushi? For example, have you tried sushi? Or has she? try sushi, right? So it'll have or it has, that will depend on the subject, okay? Questions about this? Are we clear about the formula that we are going to use for the present perfect? Nice. No, no. 
Okay, okay, perfect. Let's see what else we have right here. My goodness. Let me, let me, let me, let me share it right here in the screen. Okay, so look, we have right here the, 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 um, this one, this present perfect, okay? So we have the present perfect already and yet, okay? This is something that we will see uh, a little bit more tomorrow, but let's play this uh, video right here. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. Okay, perfect. Let me just do something really quick because I would like to share with you the, I would like to share the list. Okay, let me see if I can put it right. Let me see if I can put it right here on the, on the chat. No sé si me va a dejar esto. see if not i will share it in the in the whatsapp so what we are going to do right now is we are going to create our own sentences okay using the um present perfect okay present perfect just let me do something here Okay, so I don't know if you have a list from birds. Ya les han compartido alguna lista de verbos? No. No? No. Vale, pero vamos a buscar a nuestro grupo de WhatsApp aquí. Okay, it's right here. So let me share with you right here a list and I will share it right here on the screen as well. Pero de una vez se los voy a mandar. Okay, so you can download it in the in your phone if, if you want, because right here on the chat, I don't know if I'm able to. Oh yes, I have it here. So I will put it right here in the, 
documents, desktop. So do you see it in the in the WhatsApp group? Also, I put it here in the chat. Ahí me dio la opción también. So wow. it's here in the in the in the chat, okay? From Zoom. Let me put it here in the in the screen. Okay, here it is. Look, this is the small uh, list. Well, there are four pages, okay? As I told you, this one is like the most common um, birds, okay? So probably most of them you already know. For example, look at this one, B was where? We know this is the simple past and this is being, okay? past participle. And in this case, it, it has the meaning, okay? Aquí tiene esta lista los meanings, okay? So, as I told you, there is not like a formula or something for you to memorize or learn the verse, okay? No hay una, una regla, digamos, que se puedan sacar los pasados participios de los verbos. So in this case, you need to learn the birds, okay? My best advice is, you know, being like reading, okay? Reading probably the birds every day, okay? Vaya leyendo, they are in alphabetic order, okay? If you see, so vaya una letra por día, digamos. So letter A, that's just two, right? Arise and awake, okay? So, probably next day, so you continue with letter B and so on and so on and so on. So what we are going to do now with this uh, formula that we have right here, so we are going to create the uh, sentences, okay? So you are going to create, um, let's see, two sentences, okay? Two positive, the same sentence, try to do it in negative, and also as a question. Like this one, look, the same question is this one, positive. I have tried sushi. I have not tried sushi. Have you tried sushi? So you are going to do two sentences, okay? And it will be in groups, okay? So let me, let me, let me, let me. I will share this um, picture in the, in the group. In that way, you will be able to have it okay let me let me take a picture right here um, so i'm going to create the groups right here so in in each group you are going to create six sentences in total right because it will be two positive two negative and two questions but it needs to be exactly Exactly the same, okay? No se, la misma oración, no la van a cambiar, right? So choose verbs from the list. Escoja ahí cualquiera de todos los verbos. Create your sentences and you can use different subjects, right? Uh, pueden hacer una con I have y una con she or he has. And then whatever you want, okay? So I will give you four minutes, okay? Solo tenemos uh, four minutes for the rooms okay let me see how many are we right here on the meeting so we are 20 well. so um, yeah it will be five groups only okay so i'm going to move yourself to a room and what you are going to do with your uh, group is create six sentences okay Pero va a ser la misma, okay? That means that you are going to do two positives, then the same, you will put it in negative, and then the same, you will put it as a question, okay? Like the example, are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes? Yes, I do. Yes, teacher. Yeah. 
Perfect. So let me move right here the rooms, okay? You have four minutes only, okay? So let's do it quickly. Hip, 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 nail, uh, to a sweater. Ha, ha, eh, has she, has she, he nails. Teacher, what is pronounced uh, the, this? He nails. A can't, can't, can't. Okay, thank you. Uh, has she, he nails to a sweater? Uh, Elvis. Limitación, limitación, 
two two sentence negative say the code the teacher yes the first negative is i haven't woken up late these days in my case i haven't seen the rain Okay, okay. Nice. So now we are in the main room one more time. Okay. So I hope that the time was enough. Okay. So ya no tenemos mucho tiempo. That's why I finished. Okay. Uh, estaba viendo que algunos estaban aún ahí doing the sentences, pero sorry, time is over. Okay. So let's see. Listen, please. Pay attention to your. Um, classmates uh, sentences okay because you are going to do the exercise okay right now let's see uh, the person is going to read one of the sentences for example um, if that person read the one that is positive so the other person will do the same will mention or will read in the same sentence but in negative and then the person is going to select somebody else from the from the class for the uh, question. Okay. For example, if I say I have tried uh, fish, so the negative I have never tried fish, or I haven't. Right? I haven't tried fish. And have I tried fish? So that's what we are going to do right now. So let's see, Karina Lisette. Karina Lisette, read one of your positive sentence, please. Positive. I have seen that movie two times. Nice. Okay. I have seen that movie. The movie. The movie. The movie two times. Two times. Two times. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Yolanda, the same sentence, but now in negative. The same sentence that Karina. Okay. She hasn't seen that movie two times. Mm -hmm. But the subject was, was right, I. Karina? The subject, I. Ah, okay. Also, yes, but I am not I. It's she, no? <laughs> 
ah, okay. Karina. Yeah, ah, okay. She hasn't, uh, uh -huh. I don't know, no? Or oh, I hasn't seen I that haven't. movie two times. I, I haven't, perdón, I haven't seen. But yeah, in okay. the case of Karina, it's she hasn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, I understand. But we will try to keep the same, right? The same okay. subject because of the practice, right? Let's see now. Uh, Rosario, tell us now the same, but in question right now. We need a question for the sentence. Okay. Uh, uh, tell me the, the compliment. I understand the, the last word. Of read the last. Uh, Karina, read it one more time, please. Okay. I have seen the, the movie two times. Oh, okay. Uh, how, uh, have you ever seen the movie two times? Mm -hmm. Sería ahí, have oh, oh, I, or, right? Or no, uh -huh. have no, I? In the question, in the question. Yeah, the subject is always I. Okay, I, I have I seen. Have, mm -hmm. mm, no. Have but, I? Have I? Mm -hmm. um, Oh, well, have I uh, seen? Have I seen? seen uh, the... in, in this case, I can. O, o se puede poner ahí, aquí en, en, en esta pregunta, la palabra F. ¿Has visto alguna vez? No, o solo have, have I. Uh, yeah, seen, it, is, seen it, is, it is okay. Ever? Okay. But have you ever? Have, have I ever? Okay. It is okay. 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 It's okay in the sentence. Okay. okay. Nice. Let's see, Elvis. Elvis, read one of your negative, negative sentence. I haven't gone. I haven't gone on a beach. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone. To the beach. To the beach. Okay, so that's a negative. Vanessa, positive. The same sentence, but now in positive. I have gone to the beach. Okay, I have gone to the beach. Okay, Chrysia, now the question. Have I gone to the beach? Ah, okay, have I gone? Nice. Let's see, Luis Alonso, read one of your questions. Luis Alonso. Let me mute right here. Be careful with the mute. Oh my goodness. Sorry. So, ¿qué se me hizo? Ah, Luis Alonso, sorry, Luis Alonso, okay? So okay. one of your questions. Um, have you uh, the homework? Have you what, I'm sorry? Don't, don't. Have How? you done the homework? Okay, have you done your homework? Have you done your homework? Okay, nice, oh, Cesar, yes. okay. the same uh, now in positive, that's the question. I have paid to David. The same, the same, the, the one that Luis mentioned. You are on mute, Cesar. I have done hamburger. Uh, okay, I have done my homework, right? I have done my homework. 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 Nice, <laughs> perfect. So, Andrea Sosa, the same in negative. I haven't. Uh, I, ha I haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, the bird? Uh, I don't know that it's the bird. 
Done. 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 Okay. I haven't done. Okay. I haven't done the, the hamburger. The homework. Okay. The I haven't homework. done the homework. Okay. I haven't done the homework. Nice. Dagoberto, tell us one positive from the sentences that you have. Uh, he has sold many cars this day. Ah, nice, nice. He he has, right? He has sold too many cards today. Nice. Alexander, negative, the same one, but in negative. Sorry, can, can he repeat the question, please? Okay, please, Dagoberto, repeat the sentence one more time. He has sold many cars this day. Mm -hmm. Alex? Uh, he hasn't sold many cars these days. Okay, he haven't, right? Remember? Well, uh, well in this case, yeah, it's he, right? He hasn't, he hasn't okay. sold too many so? cars this day. Okay, perfect. Uh, Noemi, I'm sorry, I know that you have a headache, but just one question, Noemi, the same, but the same, but in question. Has he sold many cars this day? Perfect, okay, has he sold many cars today? Perfect, I guess that we have the idea, right? So with this little practice, you were able to do positive, negative, and questions using present perfect. But if you realize the important thing right here is more than know the formula. So I tiene la formula para hacer la oración. But the thing is that you need to know the verbs. Okay, si no hay verbos, no hay present perfect. Okay, we need to know the verbs. Okay, please, as a homework, Study the birds, ok? Yo sé que hay otras cosas que tienen que hacer. Igual está el trabajo de plataforma. Eh, pero traten. Voy a tratar de estarles preguntando un par de, ver de verbos así. Eh, durante la semana. Para que se los aprendan, ok? Porque we need it, ok? This is like in the simple past, ok? Y les recomiendo que se aprendan. Eh, las tres columnas porque hay algunos dicen mire teacher me puedo aprender solo la línea de los past participle si sí, se puede but my best advice and we always say re learn the three of them se le va a ser más fácil ok que usted me diga uh, for example become became become ok so que usted me diga eh, for example bring brought brought Okay, que usted me diga choose, choose, and chosen, chosen, okay? So that will be the best, okay? That will be my best advice, okay? So we have just one minute, okay? So in Spanish, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Hay alguien que todavía esté atrasadito en la plataforma o ya todos terminaron? ¿Quién me comenta? No yet. No yet, Elvis, in which no, one no, no, are you? Mm. Which exercise? Different, different exercise. No tiene. Okay, so, porque ahora y mañana es último día. Okay, so, si no, en, créanme que el día miércoles se van a quedar conmigo aquí hasta el amanecer o hasta que termine. Aquí los voy a tener tomando café con pan. Bueno, me van a mirar tomando café con pan, pues no lo puedo pasar por aquí. Ok. Sorry, my number, it's right here, and lo voy a poner solo aquí en el chat, in case if you don't have it. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. In the sentences of Ms. Dago, Mr. Dagoberto, eh, you told too many cars today. Is possible to say too many? Yeah, it is. Ahí yo le puse el two, porque Dago no lo mencionó así. Yo le puse el two. But it's okay. So too, too many. T-O-O. -O. Yes, that okay. one. Okay, that means uh, muchos, right? Muchos, okay? Nice. So ahí está my number, okay? In case if you need it, 
So Elvis, tenemos que terminar la plataforma, ok? So what about the rest? Alex, usted ya está complete with your platform? I have finished the homework Perfect. in the final exam, in the final exam too. Nice. Vanessa, what about you? Uh, I have a problem with the final exercise in the final exam. Okay, eh, mándeme which mm -hmm. is porque para poderle ayudar en el final quiz, en el final mm -hmm. exam están A, B, C, D, right? So, mm -hmm. mándeme qué letter es para poder ayudarlo, okay? Okay, eh, teacher. Then, Karina, you are done with the platform? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Nice, perfect. No es broma. El que no termine de aquí al miércoles se va a quedar conmigo después de las nueve. Ok, aquí lo voy a tener castigado. So, thank you, ok, for today. So, this is the last week. We need to finish. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, ok. Tomorrow we are going to continue with more details about the present perfect. Please study the verse. Póngase a hacer planitas ahí de los verbos para que se le queden. Ok, and uh, try to learn them, ok. Le voy a preguntar los phrasal press para ver si es cierto que han leído la lista también. Ahora le doy ahí la lista y, y ni siquiera que esas la han visto. Tienen que ver esos verbos, anotarlos, péguenlos así en la pared para que se acuerden de uno. Después cuando ya se lo haya aprendido, so, ponga otro papelito ahí, un post-it con el phrasal y el meaning. And that way you will be learning new words. Okay, so thank you for everything today and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So have a nice rest of the evening and thank you so much for your time, okay? Thank you, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs>